hello everyone welcome back to another youtube video another vlog weekend in my life <laughs> right now i am in the west village greenwich village kind of area i'm on bleaker street and i am walking to magnolia bakery because today is lyle's birthday and his favorite like cakes cupcakes are from magnolia bakery and it really is one of the best bakeries in new york city so i'm going to go get those and i don't know if you can kind of see any like flurries but there is a big snowstorm coming tonight slash tomorrow so so hopefully that won't derail any plans but later on we're going to this restaurant called daniel which is supposed to be a really nice restaurant um so really excited to yeah go there tonight and um yeah it should be really fun so daniel is supposed to be a really really nice restaurant so i'm gonna have to pick out a cute dress but um yeah i don't know i'm just really really excited for it to have a really nice meal but yeah right now i'm supposed to be working <laughs> but i took a little break just to walk down to magnolia i did this last year too so i guess this is kind of like an annual pilgrimage for me walking to magnolia <laughs> Also, I just passed by this shoe store called Daniela, and these shoes remind me so much, especially those white ones right there, of those Zara off-white little lace-up ankle booties that I wear all the time in the fall and winter. So maybe this is another option since those ones are sold out. Also, this area is so cute because they have just such cute little shops like this one here. This is Little Worlds Project. They sell those little bracelets with the sayings on them. That looks like that. You've probably seen a ton of girls on Instagram wearing them. And then they also have Stony Clover, which is another really cute shop. They do like personalized little bags and storage and everything which is also just so 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 adorable i haven't heard of this store lingua franca probably because i'm not cool enough but i love their display outside with the valentine's day and those sweaters that looks so cool and then of course they have the something navy here as well which is ariel charnas <laughs> brand and yeah i love the flowers that they have so this i don't think you can read it but that says perry street and this is the street where carrie bradshaw's apartment in sex in the city and now in just like in just like that is right down there there's also a tde the daily edited which is where i got my phone case from you can't see it but this used to be gold and it says TM, so you can get like leather cases and all these different colors and personalize them. And you can personalize a ton of other leather goods, but also a really cute, fun store. And then I couldn't forget my favorite store ever, Love Shack Fancy. This was one of their first locations. I think their second location in New York because the first one was in um, the Hamptons, but I just, I don't know, I love. This is such a cute little location and the fire escape up there. Just such an adorable little store. There is a Cynthia rally here too, which actually, fun fact, I interviewed there for a PR internship back in 2015. They also have their location, like their offices around here and there's like a gold door. I know it's somewhere around here. There's also a ring concierge here, which apparently is really popular for some people like to come here for their like engagement rings but they also have like just like a ton of other just like really nice jewelry and they have this instagram account that pretty much everybody i know follows and um yeah they're supposed to be really cool and then right across the street is 
Magnolia Bakery. So that's where we're going. It's such a cute little shop right on the corner. But yeah, so this entire street is Baker Street, so it has all of those really cute shops on it. So if you're coming, definitely, and you like shopping, definitely check out Baker Street. It's about 7.15, so the work week is done. And I'm just thinking about, you know, getting ready for tonight. Basically, every Friday after I'm done doing work, I will, I have this like routine that I go on, which is first, I clean up my apartment. So I make my bed, I make sure that all my dishes are washed, I vacuum, I take out the trash, and I clean my bathroom. And I make sure that everything is just tidied up and put away where it is supposed to live. <laughs> so I do that and then I shower if I need to shower, which this morning I showered before work. And then I kind of get ready for whatever I'm doing that night. So I will do my hair and makeup. So I just finished doing my hair. I just curled it with my little extensions in. And then I just have my makeup from this morning, so I'm gonna touch this up and make it more evening-y. But I have, I've just pulled out from my closet like some ideas of what to wear. So this place, I feel like this is two weekends in a row now of really nice dinners. <laughs> but this is for Lyle's birthday. So the place that we're going, I think I said earlier when I was walking, is called Daniel. And it's uptown, it's really it's supposed to be really nice, it looks beautiful inside, and the menu looks very, very, very good. So I just want to make sure that I look sophisticated, and I realize that a lot of the stuff that I buy isn't really conducive for this, like, nice dinner scene at night in the wintertime of New York City, because most of my closet is... Like, I love spring and summer dressing the most. And then it's mostly for daytime, so I don't really have a lot of, like, sophisticated, kind of classier, nighttime, winter outfits, is what I'm realizing from last weekend and this weekend. So I need to go shopping. But in the meantime, I just need to preface this before I flip you around, because you might be shocked. <laughs> so, <laughs> these are the dresses and outfits I have laid out, and yes, I do own some black. <laughs> doing some black dresses so this one actually is really beautiful this is from free people and I got it like maybe in 2016 or 2017 and it's this like black velvet with this not like almost like watercolored kind of I, the only way I could describe it on like chiffon so it's like velvet and almost like a chiffon -y. and it has these beautifully painted on flowers and the sleeves are really light, especially at the bottom here, because like this fabric where the flowers are is light and actually kind of see-through. Like you can kind of see my hand in there. But then the velvet obviously makes it really warm. So, and since it's long sleeve, it's like good for winter. It is mini length, so I would probably wear tights with it. And then I have this outfit, which actually is, um, this is from Club Monaco. It's got these little sleeves and it ties across the top on the sleeves it's really cute once it's on 
and it has these little pants so it's got these little wide leg kind of culotte style pants i got this also around the same time that i got this dress and wore it for new year's and i guess that that would definitely fall into the category so strong contenders right now are these two i have this skirt that i got in paris but i feel like it's just a little bit too close to what i wore last weekend this skirt I could also wear, but then I'd have to figure out a top, and I already wore, like, the whole skirt and, like, white button-down top thing last weekend. And then this dress isn't even really a contender at all. I don't even think I needed to pull it out, but I've had this for so long. This is, like, a work dress that I used to wear to work. Um, I can probably get rid of this for now, but it's just such, like, a classic shape and style that I'm, like, I've just been holding on to it in case there's a situation that I ever do need it. But yes, it's between these two right now. Here is the little pant outfit. I don't know what you would call this. <laughs> it's like a really, it's like a navy blue. It looks black on camera, but in person it's actually like a really dark navy blue. But yeah, that's what I mean by the sleeve detail kind of ties there like that. So it does feel a little more elegant, sophisticated New York City night out. Oh, I just wish I owned something like this in a lighter color, but you know what? That's okay. I know now that I need to go shopping, but I just don't know what shoes I would wear with this. Okay. So, oh, I feel like these would be really cute with it. Okay, yeah. Okay, I do feel like that looks super sophisticated and cool. I just, the only thing is that there's a snowstorm tonight. There is a nor'easter, like a really big, like bomb cyclone <laughs> snowstorm coming tonight. And I just feel like I don't want to ruin these shoes. So I do have these thingies, which my mom got for me. They're basically little fold-up ballet flats, and they're great for, like, if you're wearing heels out, you can just put this little pouch in your purse, and then if your feet start hurting when you're wearing heels um, and say you need to go get home or something, you can just slip these little things on your feet, and they just fold up so thin like that. I mean, they're so easy to just throw in your purse, and then you can just hold your heels or whatever, but, I mean, at least you can... <laughs> walk so like it's not snowstorming yet like i don't see any snow outside but i just it's supposed to happen like you know when they put it all over the news and they're like there's a big snowstorm happening it's like that right now so <laughs> i'm like do i wear the shoes okay what's the second option option two would probably be a pair of little booties so out of these two with just the color of this i mm. I don't know, let me try. So out of these two boots, to be honest, I really am not loving either one of them with this. I kind of feel like, if anything, probably this one is a little bit better just because it's like a darker color and it blends in a little bit more versus the white like stands out way too much. So I could get away with that. I just don't like the fact that it like kind of cuts off right there like that. The heels are definitely better. I just, <laughs> I need to justify if I think I should wear them or not. All right, so I think I'm going with the jumpsuit. Finally figured out the name of this is, jumpsuit. So I'm just kind of going for like a darker kind of blue look tonight. I guess I'm just fully embracing it, wearing things that I don't normally wear. So I put on these earrings. These are like, I've had these forever and I just never wear them because um, they're kind of like costumey. Um, just because they're fake. <laughs> I've had them since college. So they're just like this very, very deep, dark blue stone with these like you know diamond looking things around it and they're just studs which studs are my favorite kind of earring and then I did the Violette FR U paint it's this dark sparkly blue and I did that as a liner on my eyes as like something kind of different and like dinner evening type of a thing look and then for my lips the color that i thought looked good with this type of blue was also from violette fr this is the bisu balm in the shade batisse so this is like just kind of a it's sheer but it's buildable and it's like a, a brownie kind of a red but it comes off a little bit lighter on the lips 
So I'm going to bring that with me in my handbag. And Lyle just texted me that he's ready. So I think I'm just going to wear this and just do the boots. Say whatever. I'll wear the... I'll have another opportunity, I hope, to wear the Louboutins. That's that. A little perfume spray of my YSL Mon Perry. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna look a little funny with my balloons and cupcakes out in the snow, but that's it, and here we go. <laughs> Saturday morning now and last night was so nice Daniel or Danielle the restaurant was really really good it was top-notch the service was so on top of it very quick very like rehearsed like when Lyle and I sat down there were two people on both sides one and the other both pulled back our chairs at the same time and we sat down <laughs> and like every time they put a plate there was two different people that put the plates down at the exact same time it was that kind of a place and we did like a seven course tasting menu and we did the wine pairing with it so we really went all out which is great for a birthday and yeah it was in like a really really kind of expensive part of New York as well so it just was a fun treat really um and there was a big snowstorm so i ended up wearing the boots which was fine and like getting in and out of the ubers and stuff on the way there and back like wasn't a problem so um but the only thing was this morning when i came back from lyle's there was the snow was so much more now because it was really overnight was when it happened so everyone's outside like plowing the streets and the sidewalks but I was in my cute little new Zara boots and I feel like I kind of ruined them a little bit, but 
that is okay. So yeah, so last night was a lot of food, snow, and wine. <laughs> and now I'm kind of feeling it this morning. So this morning has been a lot about taking it slow, drinking water, and drinking this thing. So I just put this together. This is like a collagen supplement. It's from Amazon and it's from the beauty chef you've probably seen this before um this is the collagen inner beauty boost so it's basically a supercharged formula dietary supplement um that just has a lot in it so it is a vegan bio fermented elixir to support collagen production which you know as i'm in my late 20s now i gotta think about that, <laughs> those things pomegranate and papaya extracts with vitamin c for plump skin fermented with probiotics for a healthy belly which also is good because i feel like sometimes i upset my stomach a lot so you know having probiotics you know just helps with that i've just been putting that in just you can do it in a glass of water like this or you can put that into a smoothie and then you know it's you can't even taste it although it tastes good wow it is really coming down outside let me show you Of course, the fire escape is stacked with snow on it, and it is still flurrying. So I've just been sitting inside all morning, just watching the snow fall down, and it's been a nice little quiet morning. Uh, also, <clears throat> when we left the restaurant last night, it's a little parting gift. That's the restaurant, by the way. It's a little parting gift. They gave a... Hold on. To say, cannoli. Canelle. Hunch. Canelle. Canelle. Hunch. So a canelle. <laughs> I always thought it was maybe canelle, but no, maybe canelle has the accent over the E, so oh, it smells divine. So they're like, and tomorrow morning when you're enjoying your cup of coffee, I was like, oh. I mean, I don't drink coffee, but this looks so good. Mm. hard on the outside and then soft on the inside and the flavor is beautiful about to venture back out into the cold head back over to Lyle's apartment <laughs> and this is my little outfit so biggest bell sleeves ever I forgot how big these were but I had this sitting in my dry cleaning pile for a while and I got it dry cleaned finally and now I can wear it and I'm like, today is the day for a top like this because it's cashmere and when it's this cold, fabrics like cashmere and wool are the fabrics that are going to keep you the most warm. So yeah, and I feel like this is cute and casual enough and we're going to be getting dinner later with his parents because, of course, his birthday was yesterday. So got to celebrate with the parents too. And yeah, I think we're just going to Tacombe, which is close by to here. I think that's the plan. There is a big snowstorm, so we'll see if anything changes with the plan. Um, you know, it can kind of be dangerous with travel and stuff. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, just doing this, I feel like this is good for day slash night tonight. And yeah, I'm just going to throw my winter boots on. Of course, I've got some tights. Today, these are the sheer text ones. So I just love these because I've been noticing that even a lot of my other tights that I have have been getting rips in them and these physically cannot break. They are the strongest tights so, so I'm happy about that. Sunday morning and it's about two degrees outside in New York so it's really really cold I'm about to walk to Whole Foods because I need to pick up groceries for the week but yeah yesterday was 
basically did nothing because of all the snow. So I just watched Hulu, Netflix, more Hulu, <laughs> and then went to dinner at Tukumbi, which I think I showed you guys. So yeah, that was fun, but gonna go pick up some groceries for the week at Whole Foods. <laughs> now and before I do my grocery haul I just need to say I did take a quick shower because I don't know as soon as I got back I was like I just felt like you know you just feel like I need to take a shower just because like it's so cold outside so part of me just wanted to get warm and then I just really needed to wash my hair so so yeah so that's the deal I know you can't really see me that well right now but because it's all lit behind me but I'm kind of okay with that because I have no makeup on but also I'm wearing I put on this little set from Amazon actually but yeah it's like a waffle knit just like matching top and little short set so it's a really just easy casual loungewear place okay this is just a little bit too dark and also I feel like it's a little blurry <laughs> so I have two bags this bag actually while stepmom gave me last night she said that she saw it and thought of me which was so sweet so she gave that to me and now it's like a great grocery bag so i'm sure i'll be using that a lot so okay first thing that i got was this this is not food but this is a body lotion this is from the brand wellida and this is an unscented body lotion and in the winter time especially it's so important to put lotion on moisturize just make sure that you're hydrating your skin and so i love this one because it's non-scented so it doesn't interfere with any of your perfumes or anything else that you're wearing and it's really good for your skin this is a really good brand and i actually got one of these originally when i was in paris at one of the french pharmacies and then when i got back i noticed that they sold it in whole foods too so i picked it up there um today because i just just ran out of my one from Paris, which is a little bit sad, but. <laughs> All right, so I got some cubed butternut squash because I think for dinner tonight, or at some point today, I'm going to make a butternut squash soup. I think that's going to be my activity for today because it is so cold. I feel like I keep like talking about how cold it is here, but it's that type of weather where you're like, I can't go outside. It's just, whew, I'm cold thinking about it. But yeah, so it's, time of year now where we are officially in the dead of winter and that to me means staying inside cozying up with warm sweaters you putting lotion on and eating warm things like making some warm hearty healthy soup so i'm going to make that with you guys later today so one ingredient was a butternut squash and then an onion is also part of the soup so this is just one yellow onion I also picked up two mandarins so mandarin oranges are in season this time of year and they're great for breakfast so I just got two of them just to have for breakfast you know during the work week I picked up some coconut milk because that's an important ingredient in the soup that I'm making I got a big grapefruit because grapefruit is also in season this time of year and it's great to have for breakfast so yeah I got big grapefruit I usually will cut this in half and have one half one morning and one half the other morning so I guess between this and the two mandarin oranges that'll be about four breakfasts worth I got some organic kale. I love the little organic kind of like farm section of Whole Foods. So I know that kale is also in season this time of year and this type of kale, I remember seeing it grow when we were down in Charleston. So I was like, there's gotta be some farms growing this in the winter time right now. So this is the type of kale that I picked and I will be eating that in my salads this week. And then I got a lemon because I like to use the lemon in my salads as well whether I'm using the lemon for the salad dressing that I make or just to squeeze some on the actual salad itself for more of 
like a flavor i'll do that it's also just good to, to have a lemon around for it i don't know i feel like tons of other reasons come up throughout the week when you're making your own food that you could use a lemon so yes lemon i got a chocolate i always get some type of like a sweet treat this is from hugh kitchen which is actually like a restaurant here in new york it's not a restaurant that you go in and you sit down but you go in, you order your, your food like at the counter, and then you can go in and sit down, or you can just take it away. Um, but they are a vegan slash vegetarian. They have like both options there, and the food is always like packed full of nutrients, so it's a great place. And they sell some products in grocery stores around here in New York, and so their chocolate is one of them. And this is 70% organic cacao. This is a vegan chocolate. They have a bunch, a bunch of flavors, but I this time got the crunchy mint dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is also supposed to be apparently um, <laughs> semi good for you as far as like compared to the other chocolates. But yeah, this one has no refined sugar, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohols, no airy three tall, no dairy, no soy, no palm oil, no lithocins, and no emulsifiers. So. It's a pretty clean chocolate, so if you want to indulge, um, it's that, and their squares are like pretty big size, so after dinner, a lot of nights, I feel like I always need to end on a sweet note, it's this weird thing where I need to like, the last thing that I've tasted needs to be something sweet, so I usually allow myself a little square after dinner. Here you can see I picked up ginger, so, oh it smells so good, this is also going to be an ingredient in the soup. I got some carrots. This is also a key soup ingredient. They don't have to be tri-colored. Actually, it's better if they're just the orange ones. But uh, yeah, so I got these, just a couple of them in the soup recipe, and then the other ones I'll just use for some of my salads this week. I got two avocados, definitely just for my salads this week. <laughs> and then I grabbed a yogurt. This is just one little single serving yogurt. In the last couple weeks, I've been getting a big yogurt and just having it throughout the week. But um, since I bought the citrus, I just figured I don't need that much yogurt this week. Maybe with just like one day I'll have a yogurt. And I also got some coconut oil because coconut oil is of course a pantry staple and I'm out of the one that I have been using. So yeah, and this is going to be, I need a little bit of anyways for the soup. Yeah, that should be everything. Hello Ramona, I can't shake the simplest feeling. Beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone. Okay, <laughs> let's make a little soup together So, okay, I have all my ingredients here I'm just going to preheat my oven to 375 And <laughs> the soup that we're making is a butternut squash and roasted carrot soup. So we have, let me flip you around. These are all the ingredients laid out. So first I have some butternut squash. I already, I bought the one that was already cut and cubed just because it makes life so much easier. But yeah, you need about the size of one butternut squash. Some carrots, about three or four carrots. Uh, one whole onion, four cloves of garlic, and just a little bit of ginger, fresh ginger, 
and then coconut milk just one whole can of it a little bit of coconut oil just for the veggies and then all the spices so we have paprika ground ginger ground cumin turmeric and then salt and pepper roasting dish right here and what I did was I just took some of the coconut oil just a little spoonful of it and I put it in the oven to melt it just to reduce the number of dishes <laughs> so there's melted coconut oil in there and I'm just going to add in the chopped up butternut squash yeah and then the chopped carrots as well for the onion, we're just going to put it in whole. So, I mean not whole, we're just gonna cut very big chunks. And then for the garlic, I'm just going to put four, all four garlic cloves in there whole, just taking obviously the outer skin off. All right, so that's it. Just all of the vegetables chopped up in pretty big sized pieces in one roasting dish. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on top. And then I'm going to pop that in the oven for about 45 minutes. Set a 45 minute timer. 45 minutes, starting now. <laughs> okay, so my timer just went off and it smells absolutely incredible in here. So I guess that's kind of a benefit is if you make this, it'll make your house or your apartment just smell so good and like, just warm and cozy so I'm gonna take it out of the oven and poke it and see if the vegetables are cooked enough so I don't know if you can hear that but they are sizzling and they smell amazing I'm just going to stir that up a bit such a good winter recipe and by the way this I will leave a link to the recipe um, created by Naomi Smart who is a blogger who does a lot of stuff about food okay yeah just poking into some of these they're breaking even just with this spoon so I think they are ready all right so I have just pulled out my food processor so what I'm gonna do now is just put all of the roasted veggies into the food processor if everything can't fit you can do like half of it and then the other half all right so I managed to get it all in there that's all of the roasted veggies in the food processor now I'm just gonna put in the entire can of coconut milk so Oh, and I also put in the ginger as well. So I used about, I'd say like this size of a ginger and I just cut off like the skin from the sides. Um, yeah, so the fresh ginger is in there. There is. And then out of all the spices that I mentioned before, it's just, besides the salt and pepper, because that's to taste, it's about a half a teaspoon each, but I just kind of eyeball it. Um, and I just kind of put in what I think. There's the ginger, got the turmeric, which is such a great spice, the ground cumin, but, and then of course the paprika. And some salt and pepper as well. 
So I'm just going to basically blend that up. So as you guys know, I have kind of a, a lack of outlets <laughs> situation in my apartment. So I'm going to unplug the oven now and plug in the food processor on top of my refrigerator because that's just how it is. But this is going to be so good. Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows. And then I'm also just pulling out of the fridge some fresh parsley. So I'm going to add some of that as well, just about that much to the mixture. I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Ramona. If you want, you can put it in a saucepan on the stove for a little bit just to heat it back up. But I think that mine's actually pretty warm enough still. I'm just going to add a little bit more salt. I'm going to garnish it with a little bit more crushed black pepper on top and then some more parsley. And it's good to go. It is actually has the best flavors in this soup. It's such a hearty, like, good winter roasted squash soup. So I'm going to enjoy this over on my couch. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. guys so it is the end of the vlog now it is Sunday night and of course I have work in the morning on Monday I've just done my whole kind of nighttime routine before bed now which is a little bit of a stretch if I didn't stretch earlier I did of course my nighttime skincare routine and then I did all of my dishes from making the soup so 
now I'm just gonna go to bed but I hope that you really enjoyed coming along with me this weekend and just you know following along on a winter weekend in New York City I feel like sometimes the weekends here are just so unpredictable you never know what things are going to be like but I don't know I feel like it's always really exciting so I can't wait to continue making more vlogs and I hope that you follow along so definitely don't forget to subscribe of course for more videos like this one of course check out the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram and hopefully I will see you guys next time okay bye